Hi traders, welcome to this demonstration of the FX Argo Trader moving average price proximity crossover alert system. Uh, so this is a rebooted version of the old system. Um, we've recoded it for 2019. It competes really with the the same product that we sell on the MQL5 market website. This is a little bit better in fairness. Uh, they're not absolutely like for like, but I will just run through the functionality for you quickly. Price is $30, exactly the same as MQL5 market. So we've got essentially two types of crossover here. So in terms of crossover alert, we can provide a crossover alert when the price touches a moving average temporarily, and that's called a touch crossover. And we can also provide another type of alert where the crossover mode is printed, and that would be where uh, you can see here we've just got an alert saying the last candle closed above the 100 period moving average on G GBP uh, 60 minute. And you can see here this b large candle clearly the previous candle before was closed below and this candle closed above. So if you're monitoring moving averages for price action or candles closing above or below, i.e. a potential uh, break of trend uh, on long-term moving averages, then this tool could be what you're looking for. The other thing we do, we can do as well is we have a proximity mode where you can set a channel around the moving average that you specify. So these are the external input parameters here and we can alter pretty much anything you want to here. So if we want to change the moving average period to let's say 200 periods, let's simply do that. And that's moved our proximity alert channel right down here. We can adjust our proximi proximity alert channel. Um, you can see we've got proximity alert in pips. I can broaden that so to say 20 pips above and below the moving average. If I do that, you can see the channel broadens out. I can also change the channel color, obviously. Uh, so make that let's make it uh, goldenrod, and we'll make the channel go longer back or further back in time, to say 20 periods, 20 chart periods back. And I can define different alert sounds for the proximity alerts and also for the crossover alerts as well. So I'm using alert 2.wav for my proximity alert sounds and I'm using alert.wav for my crossover alert sounds. So if I could just okay those settings, you can see they've been now updated in MT4 and reflected. Um, we can obviously control our moving average period. Uh, the shift, I wouldn't recommend using shift on moving averages. It's a bit kind of pointless. You can change your calculation methods. So simple, exponential, smooth, and linear weighted, or your, and also your calculation price or the applied price on which the moving average is based. A crossover mode, which we've talked about before, printed in touch. Uh, we've got a, a maximum alert parameter here, so we can set up to two alerts separated uh, in crossover terms every 60 seconds. And we've got a minimum time between our proximity alerts at 45 seconds. It's best to use different values between or for these two settings, because otherwise they'll conflict. You can also reset the alert counter after X minutes, and at the moment I'm resetting it after every minute, but I'd recommend you reset your alert counter to be in line with your chart time frame. So in this case, I'm running H1, so I'll set my alert counter at 60 minutes, because I don't want to be bombarded by alerts. But for test purposes, I'm using a one minute uh, alert counter reset interval. And we've got uh, email alert facilities, on-screen pop-up alerts, and we can suppress the on-screen pop-up alerts if we want to. I'm also using push-based alerts as well. If I want to set those up, I can enable push-based alerts here. And we've also got uh, an Alerts Pro integration, which I'll go through in another video. That's a, a voice synthesized alert module, which you can add on to these tools. It's a subscription service. I'm, I'm just going to basically tidy it up and get that out, hopefully this week. But that's really smart because you can you don't have to be sitting at your computer. The alerts uh, suddenly get a lot more meaning because they're actually synthesized into spoken voice. And you can actually hear exactly what's going on on your MetaTrader platform without having to be in front of it, which is very useful if you don't want to be tied to your screen. So 
uh, that's kind of it, really. It's a you know, a, a, it's a nice um, rebooted version of the old system. It's a little bit more sophisticated than the version on MQR5.com. Uh, same price, thirty bucks. So, pretty much entry level uh, indicators here. There you go. That's a quick video overview. And uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me at info at fxogotrader.com.